Hey, what's going on, guys? Just checking in with you. Um, man, I've just now made it to my first year of business, and a lot of people say, like, well, Cam, how did you, how were you so motivated to keep going? And guys, trust me, it is not easy. Um, there's no books on, well, they're hard, but it's not, we weren't taught how to be business owners. They teach you how to be, you know, a worker, a worker bee, the perfect worker bee at that. And so doing what we do is very hard to stay motivated because it's no easy path. The path for you is different than the path for other people. And so in staying motivated, what I found really works for me is being very in tune with your why. Your why you are getting started. And I think I covered this on another video, but I know for me, I used to think like, well, my why is to make a lot of money for my family and do that well what are you going to do if that money doesn't come because i thought hey in six months i need to be making ten thousand dollars a month right well what if you're only making i don't know five whatever does that mean you're a failure no that probably means your why isn't quite what it needs to be so we have to be very in tune with what what our why is for me i had to go deeper than just the the money goal for me the why is hey i want my daughter's when they get of age, if they wanted to work, hey, you can come work in our company. This is ours. This has your name on it. You know what I'm saying? Versus they just go out there and they're doing whatever. If they want to go work for somebody else, that's fine. But you can at least have this opportunity. This allows us to build a legacy for our family and give us the opportunity to build around our life instead of building around work like so many other Americans. So that is part of my why. And guys, you just have to, you have to know why you're even aiming towards goals. You know, I used to think, well, hey, I want to make a million dollars, right? But as I started developing and I started doing this thing more and more and started surrounding myself with other business owners, I had to say, well, why did I pick a million dollars? Like, what was my reasoning? And a big part of that was I just thought it was a good number to aim for. Another part, I know my wife, she's like, my wife is a dreamer and she thinks huge. And me, I'm more of the realist. I'm like, well, okay, she said a million, let's aim for a million. But then I had to start thinking like, what is more in tune with what I want to do? What is more in tune with what I would be okay with? Because if I made that million dollars, am I gonna just think my life was a failure? How, what if you were making 500,000? So your life's still a failure? You're doing a lot better than a lot of people. But I said all that to say, you need to make sure you're aiming for what is right for you. Why was I aiming for a million? No, maybe I may want to say, hey, I want to make $400,000. Well, why? Because I feel like that's not too much. Or maybe it's, I don't want to hire a team. I want to be able to do everything with just one other person. So, hey, if I'm making 400, if I can't budget that, then shame on me. Versus if I was making a million, well, hey, I need to be able to pay the salary of six to seven people. I need an office. I need an office space. So even your whys come with different challenges and things that you have to address. So guys, stay motivated by knowing why you do what it is that you're trying to do. Because I promise you, if you're only doing it for a check, not because you love it, not because you have some deep purpose that's connected to it, not because it's fun for the love of the game or for the love of the profession, then eventually you're not going to be satisfied. You're going to always be chasing the carrot that's going to always keep moving because we always can want more money. You can get, there are people who make 200000 and feel like they need more. It's people who make a million and feel like they need more because money is their goal versus their why is something that won't change and you can constantly touch it, refill it, do it over and over again so guys make sure you know your why and why you want to do whatever it is fill in the blank business uh entrepreneur singing whatever but make sure you know what that why is guys all right love you guys thank you so much for giving me your attention i hope you guys are enjoying all these videos like i said i do these so that way you can hopefully skip some steps when you start or even in the middle of your entrepreneurial journey. And hey, this can help you by just giving you different perspectives. So thank you guys. That's it.